Most companies want to hire you knowing that you yeah. are able to get the work done, not because a piece of paper says you can get the do it. Oh, like yes. Like people that um, are getting hired these days are people that know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's a guy that went for an interview and they're like, okay, show us what you have. And he had a degree, he had a degree from a university in Zim. So they ask, them, okay, you have a degree, but let's see your skills. And you didn't have anything to show showcase for that. GitHub is your new degree. Like in the tech yeah. space. Yeah. Yes. GitHub is your degree. Because that's where they see what you're doing. That's where you showcase all your projects. That's where you showcase your skills, how um, skillful you are. So GitHub mm. is a must. Prove your skills. No matter what path you take, the varsity side, the boot camp, your Sorry. YouTube, discipline, hard work, mm. prove to yourself, speak to the right people. Mm. Welcome back to Let's, Let's Talk Take with Gen Z. I'm Angel. I'm Taffy. I'm Dumi. And our topic for today is self-taught tech or having a degree. Which one is more recognizable? Ah, uh, yeah. So, guys, what is self-taught tech and what is, like, you know, having a degree? What do you think, Angel? Um, I think self-taught tech would be someone that would go into boot camps, mm. um, watch YouTube learning, would watch, um, go on websites that mm. have free courses, and do everything on themselves, self-paced mm. and everything. Yeah. Okay. 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 And I think a degree typically covers your theory, your structure, your networking. You know, mm. going to varsity, four-year degrees. Five, mm -hmm. three, you know, that's what I think a, de a degree typically covers. Yeah. Oh, so you, do you guys feel like um, self-taught is like more practical than like people that do degrees? Because like it's like theory based, right? Those that do degrees. So do you guys feel like it's, is it balanced or what do you guys think about all of I that? I think you, it's more practical on the boot camp side. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong, but I believe uh, and yeah, it's more practical on the bootcamp side. And on the degree side, I think they do have practicals. They do have practice, you mm. know. And But I feel like real-world <coughs> projects are more into the self-taught Self -taught, side. Yeah. yeah, and you, you need to have something to showcase, especially on your LinkedIn. Because when they're hiring you, they want to see like what you have done. Mm. So if you have theory, if you have a degree, sure, it's cool. But then like... What, what skills do you have? Exactly. You get. So what roles, like what tech roles do you think this affects when it comes to a conversation like this? Okay, for one, in cybersecurity, I do think some companies recognize degrees and stuff, but most companies want to hire you knowing that you yeah. are able to get the work done, not because a piece of paper says you, you can the do code. it. Exactly. Oh, yes. So I think yes. they'd want to see projects, like mm. your portfolio, mm. to see that, oh, she can do one to three. Mm. And yeah, that's what I think. Oh, 100%. Mm. Yes. 100%, yeah. For me, I feel like it affects roles such as software engineering or like web development and especially roles or careers that have a lot of coding into it. So these days people can code on their, um, on their own, they can go to Free Code Camp, they can go to Udemy and just learn coding on their own. So I feel like it affects um, courses like that. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah, it does affect courses like that, but like uh, <coughs> traditional companies value degrees mm. we can't shy away from that you know so um, most companies value degrees because people who are senior developers senior data science are people who went to varsities yes. people who got degrees so they value you degrees. having a degree you know mm. yeah so that can be a problem for you when you are at the, like the bootcamp side and you are applying for like a traditional the big, the company. big companies like exactly. Google and stuff exactly mm -hmm. oh okay okay but then on that point i think i think maybe back then people mm -hmm. were more focused on degrees because mm. i feel like now people just need to get certifications yes. like if you get your comptia your mm -hmm. amazon i feel like certifications are more recognized than degrees because they are like international 
and stuff recognize like that. Mm. so i think certifications and projects yeah those. that is so true yeah that is so true because the other day my dad came to me and he told me he was in like a a uh, seminar type of, uh, type of thing. So he's like what he learned there. He learned that a lot of tech people, a lot of like, especially if you're into um, uh, cyber security or software engineering or just anything that is similar to that, people that um, are getting hired these days are people that know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's a guy that went for an interview and they're like, okay, show us what you have. And he had a degree, he had a degree from a university in Zim. So they asked him, okay, you have a degree, but let's see your skills. And he didn't have anything to sh showcase for that. Whereas there was another guy behind him that did not have a degree, but he had the skills, he had the certifications, he had a lot of things under mm -hmm. his name. So they ended up hiring the other guy instead of, you know, my, the other guy so i really feel like yeah mm. you just need to know what you're doing yeah mm -hmm. so guys do you think like github is your new degree like in the tech yeah. space yeah yes. github is your degree because that's where they see what you're doing that's where you showcase all your projects that's where you showcase your skills how um skillful you are so github mm -hmm. is a must a definite mm -hmm. must. That's like your personal portfolio. Mm -hmm. Like when they just click, they're like, okay, this person knows, knows what, what they're they doing. Yeah. They know they what know. they're doing. Yeah. So I do think like self-taught comes with advantages. Mm. Like you can work at your own pace. Yeah. Focus more on what you want to do. Because if it's like going to school, you get to learn other things that are like vast instead of just what you want to focus on and i think it's cheaper because you get free websites mm. and yeah. yeah that's true but i also feel like it depends where you are because um degrees are um, focused or like they are needed in certain countries so in countries yeah. like germany japan they want you to have a degree but then we also have like countries that are more flexible like south africa we have mm. the u.s mm -hmm. so it also really just depends where you are so yeah Mm, definitely. Uh, on what Angel said about like the pros of self-taught, mm. yeah, it, like when you are in boot camps or you are you are watching YouTube videos, I think it enhances your problem-solving <coughs> skills. It it mm -hmm. it enhances how you think because uh, you learn how to learn. Wow. in self-taught yeah. you know which is very like it's gold in tech like it's Definitely. really important for that you need to know that you know so yeah hmm. okay I do. what do you guys think are the cons of self-taught you know take imposter syndrome yo 100 mm. percent 100 percent yeah yeah there was and a time i tried teaching myself how to go before like i started um you know, the boot camp and learning prior. I tried teaching myself how to code. I tried doing a lot of things and mm. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. So imposter syndrome plays a huge role, mm -hmm. a huge role. On imposter syndrome, I think you can also feel lost. Like mm. you can do something, for example, you go on free code camp, mm. you're learning, okay, cool. Now I learned the basics of, let me make an example with HTML. Now applying it out of the website, like, you yeah. don't know where you to don't know go where to, yeah. and what to do from there. So yes. I think mm. you can also, like, you know, be lost in a sense. Mm. Another con is that you don't really have access to, like, um, internships as much as you would mm. with um, having a school that you're mm. in, right? So if, you've, if you're self-taught, you don't really have, like, guidance to mm -hmm. how you can get internships, how you can get certain things. So, you're, yeah, that's definitely a con. Um, but what do you think are the pros of a degree? Like, what are the benefits of having a degree? Um, I think recognition into mm -hmm. all the companies, like we said, companies that recognize degrees. Degrees. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, I think that. And you get, like, a structured learning path. Like, you get to learn the basics, the basics. intermediate phase, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think those are part And it's of easy those. to access a lot mm -hmm. of things, a lot of things. Like networking. Like networking. Hackathons. Hackathons. And all of that. Your GWS, mm -hmm. summits. Exactly. exactly. And a lot of like, especially when you go on LinkedIn and you want to apply, your, this, was this, this was literally the stress of summer. I tried to um, 
uh, to apply for jobs and most of them are just like you have to be enrolled in a computer science degree or have a degree, a degree already. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, this is also a really big con. Um, yeah. So uh, what do you guys think really matters in 2025? Does a degree matter or just having yourself to? Your portfolio teach. matters, your projects, your GitHub, mm -hmm. your contribution, your experience also. Wow. Yeah, those things matter. And also, guys, networking. You need to know the right people, you know. And you can do that in boot camps and As well. in mm -hmm. varsity. So mm -hmm. I think, like, that's where networking plays a huge role. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. And also getting certificates, like mm -hmm. making sure you write um, the correct certificates, like getting an AWS, getting a, a CompTIA, yeah. like you said, getting your um, Python or your JavaScript international exam. So getting an exam is very, very important because that's what recruiters see as well. So yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah, rec recruiters only care about what you can do, mm -hmm. not what you have. Not what you have. Yes. True, true, they want to know if you'll be able to, you know, work in the company exactly yes. so what are our final thoughts guys like what are the final thoughts what is your brick being layered for you guys in terms of self-taught instead of yeah um personally i think self-taught is the way mm -hmm. like i said like we mentioned it's cheaper mm -hmm. and you can focus on what you want to do so I think self-taught is better than oh, okay. having a degree. So uh, honestly, I'm going to be very, I'm not going to be biased about it, but I'm just going to speak on both the degree and your boot camps. Prove your skills, no matter what path you take, the varsity side, the boot camp, your so, YouTube, yeah. Discipline, hard work, mm -hmm. prove to yourself, speak to the right people. Mm. Guys, go on LinkedIn, um, text, inbox those mentors, yes, those recruiters, yes, yes, you know. Yes. Tell them about what you're doing, where, if it's YouTube or it's boot camps, get advice from the right people, from people mm. who are seniors mm. in our IT field, you know, guys. So I think, like, your skills are very important, no matter the path you take, honestly. 100%. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true, that's true. Um, I th I also think the same as to me. Uh, it really, really all scales out to discipline. Mm -hmm. If you're disciplined, if you know that, okay, I have to have my work done by a certain time, I have to learn this and this and this, do it. Um, if you are doing a degree and now you're skeptical, oh, now am I wasting money? You, you're probably not. That's the mm -hmm. path you took. That's the path you took. <laughs> and you will definitely have... Um, a good journey ahead of you only if you take the necessary precautions exactly so yeah the most important thing whether you're doing a, a degree or self-taught is that you have your linkedin you have your github mm -hmm. you have your portfolios you have your projects those mm -hmm. are the most important things you and need to have so yes and your certifications make exactly. sure that you write those exams because if you don't have those exams what you're going to show your employer exactly so yeah that, those are our final thoughts and also if you don't have the necessary, like, you know, funds to take you to a boot camp or to varsity or anything, mm -hmm. you can go on f websites like Coursera, yes, um, Free, free. Code Camp, exactly. Try Hack Me, mm -hmm. all those stuff. They are free and you can, some do need you to pay for certifications, some are completely free and those are also recognized. The small certificates you get are also recognized because then it shows dedication shows that mm -hmm. you really want it mm. so yeah that's also my final thoughts yeah. all right thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of let's talk tech with gen z we have been your host and see you in the next episode thank bye. you bye Ooh, yeah <laughs>